Hey! What's happening ladies and gentlemen? Brock of the Best here. Coming back to you with the first video in a really long time. Well, no. Not super long. I mean, I've had longer breaks, but it, for the first video in quite an extended period. Now, um, uh, it's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's. And I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, a Happy Christmas as well. Um, and if you do, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, of course, hope you just had a good time. Uh, I, um, I was gonna make a video that day, but I was, uh, I was a little preoccupied with some other stuff. So I'm making the video now, and also it's because of, I had, um, what was it? I didn't, I was going to save the video for something that I wanted to show you guys that was new, and it's not really here so much. I mean, I did get a couple of legends for Christmas. Actually, only one. I got only one legend for Christmas. I got this Vision. I didn't really get him for Christmas as much as I got the money I used to purchase him on Christmas. So I got him right there, and now I have my Brothor complete. Y'all saw it. It's over here. And, uh, did I show you guys the Heimdall? I got Heimdall as well. So, yeah. Brothor is a little closer to being built, but I got Heimdall not during Christmas. I got him, uh, before. What else is new? Hmm, everything here is basically... I, I moved Sif a little over here. Change up the pose on that door a little bit. Everything from here is the exact same. Somebody had asked me that I use a special stand for Ebony Ma, and where did I get that? What is that? Basically, um, you see these types of stands that I used on Thor? I used those stands on Ebony Ma. I got those from, I used to collect this small Star Wars line. It was called, uh, what was it called? I forgot what it was called, but... Basically, it come with like little ships. That's how I got these guys. These are little, little teeny tiny figures. It would come with little ships that had peg holes into them. I like on the bottom of them. You would stick these onto the ships, like the Tie Fighters, the X Wings. You would stick those, and then it make it fly. So I figured that I could probably use these for Legends figures, and for a lot of them, they port really well into the peg holes. So I used them on Thor, Loki. I mean, not Loki. Thor. Uh, Ebony Ma, who else? I know it was a couple of people. Thor, Ebony Ma, Rhodey right there. I used them on the War Machine, and I used them on Killmonger back there. So, yeah, that's where I got that, and not much has really changed up here. But that, there was something new that I wanted to show you guys. Oh, and I used those stands on the Starlet as well. There was something new that I wanted to show you guys, and it was, um... A while ago, I had said that I was going to get a new Black Series shelf. Well, I was going to try to get a Black Series shelf for my Black Series figures because I didn't want them all to be inside of, you know, those boxes that I would keep them in. So, I got that shelf. I posed the figures. I was going to make a video of me posing the figures, but I was just too tired, man. I didn't want to have to record all that. So, uh, here it is. This is my comeback. Here it is. Now, I it is uh, still a work in progress. I haven't unboxed these figures, mostly because I don't want to use them in the display. Because these figures, they... A lot, of, a lot of them aren't bad figures. It's just... They look bad. They... The face printing, this is before face printing was a thing. Except for the... These are some of my least favorite Black Series figures, so that's why they're not in the display. I only wanted to use figures that I like in the display. But here it is. Here it is. Quick overview. Got the OT section in the middle. Got a little of the solo story over there. My Jedi Fallen Order section is going to be up there. Um, I just haven't gotten a lot of the figures because I haven't played the game yet, but I'm going to start getting them. I just really need to play the game. My prequel section, one that I'm very proud of, even though I want I want to explain on that section a lot more. I got kind of it's it's almost canologically ordered, like um, chronologically ordered from the timeline. So the prequels start over there, kind of the in between episode three and four stuff over here. The original trilogy stuff over here. The sort of a little bit after, a little bit during the original trilogy stuff is going to be right there. And then the sequel trilogy stuff is going to be over here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to sift through this, and we are going to start with the prequel section. So, um, prequel section, 
we have the Phase 2 Clone, clone Trooper. I got this from a 4-pack, Amazon 4-pack, the, um, what is it called? I forgot what it was called, but I got it for really cheap. Well, not really cheap. I got it for $50, $50 for four figures, so it came with the Clone Commander Phase 1, Phase 2 Clone Trooper, came with the Storm Trooper, and then it came with the First Order Captain all the way down there. We'll get to him in a second. I got that one for Christmas. I got more Black Series than Legends for Christmas. So yeah, we got him. You guys saw the Commander Fox. I really like that figure. Commander Wolf, love him as well. And then a uh, Clone Commander. I like all of them. And you can see I haven't used any of the DC-15A blaster carbines. I don't know where they are. I haven't used them in the display because I really like the DC-15 blaster rifle more than the carbine. But I might use them in the display one of these good days. We'll see. But uh, yeah, we got him there. So those are the guys. We have the villains up here. Darth Revan isn't really a prequel figure, and he's more of a Legends figure than a prequel, so he really shouldn't be in this canon display, but I wanted to have him in there. This is sort of like the um, early Sith section. So Darth Revan, CIS, uh, no, so well, CIS Battle Droid right over there. General Grievous, Darth Maul, if I ever, once I get the Count Dooku, he'll be over there. And then more battle droids can go somewhere back here. Then here we have some some of the Jedi slash, uh, you know, main character section. I am, once the more Jedi Knights come out, like Kit Fisto, Plo Koon, and all that, I'll put them over here. I'm trying to get that clone commander Obi-Wan so I can put him right over here. So this will be kind of like the Jedi section, and then they'll be extending a little more over here. So, yeah. And also, you guys will notice that I used a lot of... A lot of electronic a lot of electronic boxes in the display in order to get elevation. So I used the iPhone box. I used uh, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, but not, I don't own any of those devices. So yeah, there we go. We have the, the Padme right over here. We have the. Um, <sighs> Sorry, lost my train of thought. We have Padme right over here. There's Speak. Purge Trooper. I have, um... Uh, what is it? Uh, shoot, guys, I lost my focus. Sorry, people were just calling me. Let me get back into it. Padme. So this runs out the prequel section. Anything else that comes out, comes out. I really hope that they make more prequel figures because I'm really proud of this display, especially for the clones. We have the Jedi Fallen Order section, which really needs to be fleshed out over here. Uh, Perch Trooper, AirPods box. Um, I don't have any AirPods. I don't have any iOS devices. I don't have any of the devices that are, you know, the boxes that you see on here. But they work really well for displays, guys. So all of these boxes are family members' things. So yeah, Perch Trooper. If I ever get a Cal Kestis, will probably be at the top. Trilla will go somewhere around here. And yeah, if they make more Fallen Order figures, then I'll definitely get more. And I probably need one more Purge Trooper. Over here, we have the Solo section. Still needs to be fleshed out a little bit. And even though I don't want to... I'm going to get more figures, but like mainly for sale because Solo figures are very cheap. We got the actual main characters up here, sort of. Still got to get more like the Tobias Beckett and uh, L3 and what's his name? I forgot his name. Whatever his name is. The four-armed. That's not a Celestian. I forgot his name. Uh, so yeah, we got them right there. Han, Lando, Val, and Kira. Up here, we have the troopers from the solo movie. We have the Mimban um, range trooper. And this is the pa patrol trooper, but I put um, the riot control first order stuff on them, even though it's not really accurate at all. I like how it looks. It looks pretty cool, like how the shield looks and everything. So yes, here we're getting more into the Rogue One slash original, slash original trilogy section. Um, a lot of my Rogue One figures I didn't pose, like Jin and Cassian, because I do not like how they look at all. And I really hate that Cassian figure, but, um, I don't know. I don't think I'll ever put it in. 
But uh, we'll see how it goes. Got the um, K2SO up there. Jawa's kind of just there. Um, Baze Malbus and Chirrut. Then we have the villain, Director Krennic, and Death Trooper. So now we're getting into more of the original trilogy type stuff. We have the Dewback with the Sand Trooper on it back here. We have the four pack Stormtrooper battle damage. Um, the Imperial Jump Trooper. Tarkin with the IT08 interrogation droid. I think it's. I don't know what it's called. Something, something. ITO interrogation droid. Interrogation droid, anyways. We have a C3PO, but that's not the Walgreens exclusive. That's the one that came with. Uh, what's his name? Ugh, gosh, why can't I ever remember the names? But I got the box right here, so. The one that came with Babu Frick, right? So yeah, he's right there. I saw the Walgreens exclusive one when I was in Florida for vacation. And you know what? I should have picked it up. But I got that, I got this two-pack with Babu Frick for very cheap, like $13. So, two figures for $13? That was pretty worth the two-pack. <laughs> two-pack, okay, so we have what is his name ben kenobi how can i forget kenobi han solo hoth leia my favorite leia outfit i need to get the jedi knight luke once i have him i'll put him right here and if i can somehow get my hands on an r2d2 i would put him over there we have i need to stop saying that we have there's the Chewbacca Vandor, but I put uh, the I put the Vandalier or whatever it's called that came with C3PO. I put that on him, so I kind of customized it a little bit because I could simply could not find a Chewbacca from the original trilogy. I, I, it's not focusing on Chewbacca; it's focusing on Han because I think that it's Han's face. Emperor Palpatine right up here. Love that Emperor Palpatine with the throne. Have him in front, like, uh, basically behind everyone. And then you notice that this is more the Empire type stuff. So we move on to Darth Vader. I had Inversio from the Battlefront game. Uh, Scout Trooper. I got that one in Florida as well if you check my Instagram. And Death Star Technician or whatever. And then we move into the after after episode 6 type stuff, but before the sequel trilogy. We have the Legends, Jaina Solo up there. I know it's supposed to be a canon display and I keep on breaking my rules, but I really like that figure. It's a great figure, so I put her in there as well. Um, it's supposed to be like the Bounty Hunters. I couldn't... I... One of the... A great regret that I've made is passing up the Archive Boba Fett when I've seen it three times. And that was just when I was more into Legends, so I just, I kept on passing them up. But I think I'm going to try to get the prototype Boba Fett for $30, but I'm trying to find some type of gift card. And then I'm going to put them over there. It's kind of like in the order that they were in the movie, Empire Strikes Back. So this really should be more in the middle, but I don't really care because all these guys made it after that. Except for IG-88, of course. And Boba, allegedly. And Zuckus will go over here. So yeah, back there, I don't know what's going to go up there. More type of New Republic type stuff. If we ever get <clears throat> some more of that. And then, you guys know that The Mandalorian takes place before sequel trilogy, but after original trilogy. So this is where The Mandalorian figures are going to go. I'm not going to get that Mandalorian, the carbonized, the first edition, whatever. I've seen it before. I've seen the first edition before. I've actually seen all of the Force Fridays first edition before. But I didn't get him because I know that they are going to re-release the Mandalorian with the best car armor. And plus, he only had that armor for, like, um, the, the figure. He only had the armor that the figure comes with for 20 minutes. And then he got the shoulder pad, and he slowly started to build himself up into more of a streamlined, sleek, best car Mandalorian instead of a beat-up, you know, put-together suit. So, yeah, we got that. So that will be up here. Well, we don't have that yet, but... I don't have that yet, but that will go up here with the Cara Dune, IG-11, and Off-World Jawa. 
then up here we'll go with whatever comes naturally. And then we move into the sequel uh, collection with the Ray speeder bike. Got that one for incredibly cheap. Island Journey Ray. I really love that figure. I think that's like the best photo reel that they've ever done for Ray. Look at that. That just looks so good. Her with the deluxe figure Luke that came with the island, that came with the island uh, piece. And then C-3PO, the red arm version, Maz Kanata right there. I feel like that Maz Kanata is going to fall. Doesn't she look like she's about to fall? Anyways, yeah, her right there with the box. And I think that I'm looking closely. No, I didn't forget. Is the lightsaber in there? Yeah, okay, it is. With the box with the lightsaber in there. And then Babu Frick right here looking incredibly tiny, but he has great articulation. And then we move into more of the First Order stuff with First Order Jump Trooper up there. Sith Trooper right there. Uh, Elite Praetorian Guard. I really love the Elite Praetorian Guard. I need to get another one to go right by Snoke. Snoke with the, the deluxe Snoke with the chair. The throne, more like. I got Vice Admiral Holdo for pretty cheap. Um, what was it? Like $11? So yeah, picked her up. And she's actually not a bad figure. Like, she looks really good. And she's inspired. She's gonna inspire me. She's inspiring me to unbox this Leia, but I'm gonna give it some time. Uh, Jana. Jana looks really good. I got her for buy two, get one free sale at Target. Uh, they were having a buy two, get one free for Star Wars stuff. So yeah, picked her up. We got Island, no, Jedi Ray. What is it called? Ray and Dio? Whatever. It's called just Jedi Ray. So, there she is. I really love the articulation on this figure. I really like how she looks. Um, I like the Island Journey Ray head sculpt better. This doesn't really look too much like Ray, but it's, it's pretty good for photo reel. And then has the more thick lightsaber. I love the thicker, bigger built lightsabers because they're less easy to fall. Oh, am I holding this weird? They're just a lot better and, you know, they don't bend easily. And then Dio right there. I like that little Dio droid. Um... What else? Okay, so now this is more the First Order Troopers section. We have the Deluxe, the Deluxe First Order Trooper that came, oh, sorry about that. Deluxe First Order Trooper that came with the, with all the accessories, so you can customize him. So he's there. We, no, I'm not going to say we have. Oh, shoot, I need to wrap this up. First Order Captain that came with the four pack, Captain Phasma, the battle damaged, uh, First Order Flame Trooper, and First Order Snow Trooper. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you all in the next one. Hope you guys have a happy new year. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. And so, yeah, it's an overview of the shelf looking good. To be built upon, but I'm really liking how this looks, and so I'm glad that I can finally put my Black Series to use. Comment how you guys think of the Mandalorian season finale. I thought that it was crazy. And yeah, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Rock the best out. Pan that shot. Look at that.